I'm on my way down to Baton Rouge and Louisiana. Uh, as you know, if you follow the latest weather report, uh, Hurricane Gustav is headed, uh, I'd say at this point, likely landfall uh, somewhere between uh, Vermilion Bay and New Orleans in Louisiana. Again, it's possible this will change, but this is where most of the uh, prediction seems to be centered. The storm is moving a little more quickly than uh, we were seeing late yesterday, uh, which means it'll arrive uh, within certainly 24 hours in terms of tropical storm winds. Uh, at the same time, that may benefit us a little bit by uh, minimizing the strengthening. We're still looking, however, at what may be a low category four or a high category three storm. And again, you know, as with all storms, these, these uh, can be tricky, these can change. That means that we basically have the rest of Sunday to complete the evacuation of the coast of Louisiana, as well as evacuation activities uh, in Texas and Mississippi. I spoke to the president early this morning at some length about the state of preparations. Uh, he is fully committed to throwing all of the assets of the federal government into this fight. I was over at the uh, FEMA headquarters talking to our DOD partners, General Renuard at NORTHCOM, as well as our state partners in Louisiana. The main evacuation is going well. Uh, we are concerned because a number of the hospitals that originally <coughs> planned to shelter in place have now decided they're going to actually try to evacuate their uh, uh, critically ill and medical needs patients. As a consequence, we've had to increase the tempo of our air flights uh, into New Orleans in order to make sure that we can accommodate the flow. We're going to be watching this very carefully today.